So I will talk about XWiki, about our product and the community behind it. So first we have, I'm Guillaume Delumeau. I'm a member of a Nixwiki.org committer, so a member of the community, and a Nixwiki SS employee. So I have two hats. So what we talk about first, what the XWiki product is, because maybe you don't know. Then how the product is governed. And then what the company XWiki SS is, and how the community and the company can live together. We will see the influence of the company on the project. And an example of collaboration, uh, which is XWiki Collaborative Suit, that you can see on the XWiki.com uh, website. And at the end, we will see if everything is working. So first, what XWiki is? XWiki is a wiki, as the name uh, said, uh, written in Java, so we can use all the Java ecosystem. And it has been created in 2004 by Ludovic Dubost. Uh, XWiki is a member of OW2, and it's designed for enterprises. We have nice features like uh, rights management or LDAP connector or things like this. A uh, main strength is that it allows structured data. So it's not only plain text, like for example on Wikipedia, but it's structured data and we will see after what it is. And it can be extended with integrated scripting capabilities. It means that you can write PHP, Python, uh, JavaScript code directly in the wiki and it could be executed. So you can extend the wiki uh, easily. So actually it covers a lot of use cases. So the most uh, famous one is knowledge bases. It's like Wikipedia. It's a place where you put all your knowledge. But it's good also for workspaces. So when you want to collaborate on a project uh, with a collaborative editing for documents, uh, with a, wit a meeting application, or you can do polls, you can use forums, you have a file manager. But it's also good for intranet portals. A lot of enterprises are using XWiki for that. And for public websites, too, public websites too, so you can uh, see XWiki as a content management system, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, there's a lot, uh, some other use cases uh, with uh, people uh, who have a lot of imagination. So some screenshot here you see that it's a wiki. So there is a, a sandbox page that you can edit, and uh, we have title, links, and, and so on, so on. We have structured data, so this is an interesting thing, is that here it's a, an application I've made which represents all the books that I have in my collection. So here it's Vamilieu sous les mers. And I have different fields. I have the name of the book, I have the description, I have a year of parution, and if the book is in my stock or not. So it's not only a plain, uh, a plain text document, it's also some fields that are easily customizable. If I want to add some fields, it's easy. I want to break my database because uh, of that. I just uh, add some new fields, fields and it's not a problem. And then it's easy to, to perform some filters, some queries on the field. So if I want to have only the books that I have in my stock right now, I can do that easily. If I want to have all the books uh, published before a, a certain date, uh, it's easy. So enterprises love that because they can structure their knowledge. It comes with a lot of extensions. More than 300 extensions are on their repository right now. Uh, with file manager, forums, uh, meeting application, etc., etc. It's easily customizable. So here we have some different themes that we have by default. But you can also go in further. We have here some example of what we do in our enterprise for some clients. So it's always XWiki behind the scene. So what are the mantra? Uh, the idea is to create a tool which will be the best way to organize information and to collaborate. And the main idea is to stop using emails. So we all know when we work with a lot of colleagues, uh, we, we send a lot of mails about the, about the client, about the specification of the project, and so on and so on. But then, if you want to, to find the information six months after, you have to look at your old mails, and it's difficult to, to do that. Because the knowledge is not structured. So the idea is to put all your knowledge in a single place, which are easy to, to find. 
And uh, if your colleague is not there because he's on holiday or because he has uh, left uh, the company, it's easy to find the information and to have all the knowledge that you need to take a decision. That's the idea uh, behind XWiki. So a lot of companies uh, already trust us, like uh, IFP, ODF, uh, RW2. Uh, we have Mythic, uh, Chronopus, and, uh, and so on and so on. So the recent feature we are working on in XWiki are the nested pages. It's the ability to create pages inside some pages. So at the end, you have a hierarchy of pages. We can inherit their write system and so on and so on. And it has been requested by some clients. Uh, we are also changing our way the editor, which is currently a custom solution. And we want to avoid the not inverted here syndrome and to use an existing uh, weather wig, which is CK editor, which is more powerful and it will be, it will be less uh, work for us to maintain. And we are going uh, in a direction of creating a minimal XWiki with a minimal feature. And then you can install the extensions that you want on top of it to cover your use cases. But we will also provide some flavors for uh, different use cases like knowledge base, like workspace, like public website. And the flavor will be a collection of extensions for your use case. So it's what we are, want to do, what we want to do. So now, the community. xwiki.org is an open source project. The license, the license is LGPL, which is quite uh, normal. And it's driven by its community. It's the most important thing. So as many open source projects, our community gets together on the mailing list. We have three active lists with a lot of messages per day. And we have two mail lists, the users, where users can get help from the team. And the dev list, where developers discuss new features or technical issues, etc., etc., and all the all the decisions are made on this mailing list. So some people inside the community have a special status. They are committer. So basically, a committer is a developer who has the right to push commits on the official repository. But it actually involves more. Actually, a committer has the right to vote. So when a new feature is proposed, or when some important change, changes are going to be made, we organize a vote and we say, okay, I agree or I don't agree. And it's actually a duty to vote because when some people want to work on an important feature, uh, it's important that you don't waste, time, waste time to wait for people to answer to the vote. So it's actually a duty to vote. An important thing is that each committer have a veto right. It means any committer can block a proposal, even if the proposal comes from my company, for example. Okay, he needs to have good reason. It's not just because uh, he wants to joke, but uh, each committer has his veto right. A committer has also a privileged access to the infrastructure, so the bug trackers, the official website, the CI uh, server, the GitHub administration, etc., etc. He also has a duty to perform releases at least one per year because it takes time to do a release. So it's good that everybody contribute to the effort. And we also have the duty to watch everything that happens in the repository so we can verify its quality. So every time uh, a change is made in XWiki, we have a lot of eyes who look at the code and say, oh, okay, this could be uh, improved, this is not that good, or oh, this is, is nice. So the quality is managed thanks to this. We also have the duty to look at contribution. So basically it's pull request on GitHub and apply them if possible. And then when it's not possible, we discuss with the contributor and we try to, to help him to, to create a better, a better contribution. More generally, the committer discuss about the direction of the project, what we want and what we don't want. And if you want to see all, uh, all being a committer involves, you can see it on our website. Everything is documented and transparent. So an important thing is that all committers have the same right. There is no leader, no boss, no benevolent, no benevolent dictator for life. 
So it's not like the Linux community where you have Linus Tolvard who at the end have always the last word. It's more like a democracy, like uh, the Apache Software Foundation or like uh, Debian. So all the decisions have to be made democ democratically. Then how to become a committer? First, you have to prove yourself by doing some pull requests. And if we think that you are good enough, uh, one of the committer can propose to give him the status and we organize a vote and we say, okay, uh, we want him to, to be a committer or, or no. So know that newcomers are welcome. So if you want to contribute to this great project, uh, feel free and uh, we will welcome you. How we work? Every day we, we create a roadmap a roadmap is discussed by all the committers, and the current map will define the objective for the coming year, what we want to achieve this year. So it brings some visibility, it brings what we want to do for the community, for all, um, I mean, all the users know where we are going to. Now I will talk about my company, not my company, but the company uh, who employ me, Xwiki SS is a company founded by Xwiki's creator, Ludovic Dubost. It provides support, hosting, and services for clients interested in Xwiki. And it actually founds some committers for who it's their full-time jobs. So currently, six committers are salaried of Xwiki SIS. And most of the work done on the product come from these six persons. Xwiki SIS also provides infrastructure all the servers, etc., and a quality team who is in charge of testing the new version of XWiki and contributing to the documentation. So thanks to them, we managed to have a good quality either in the product or in the, in the documentation. So what can we say about XWiki SS? Is it an, an angel for the project or a devil who wants to control everything? So what I think is that XWiki SS play the game of open source. All the, all the contribution are still open source. Uh, there is some committers who have no relation with the company, and it's good, we want that. Um, some committers are former employees who keep the committer status. And it's normal, it's not because you leave the company that you leave the project too, because there are two distinct entities so we have some former employees who still continue to contribute on the project or who are running business uh, on top of XWiki. Also your XWiki SS employee, employees propose a roadmap, but then it's discussed and modified by all the community, by all the committers. Nothing is imposed by the company. And actually, XWiki SS would love to see more companies founding the, the project because it will be a win-win situation. XWiki SS will benefit from the investment done by other company. Meanwhile, the other company will benefit from our investment. So it it's, would be a win-win situation. So you may say, since XWiki SS found most of the developers, the company must have a great influence on the project. And I will say yes, of course, indeed. But other committers have still have the veto rights. It's very important. Uh, and developers from other companies can join the project so that it will be more balanced at the end. Uh, it, it already arrived. Sometimes uh, we as at XWiki SS, we do some proposal and then uh, some people in the community say, no, I put the veto. So either we create an extension but not uh, integrated by default in the product, either we, we do another proposal which is gonna be accepted by, by the people. The current situation of being the main sponsor is not an objective of the company, it's just uh, the fact. Does XWiki apply an open core strategy? I say no, because all contributions are free. Uh, you know what an open core strategy is? Is when you have uh, the core of your, of your application, which is open source, okay? But then you have a lot of extensions who are not open source, who uh, you have to pay for, 
and actually what you want is the whole package. You are not interested by only the core. So it's not real open source, it's just, uh, it's open core. XWKSS doesn't want to do that, they want to be a real open source company. So the consequences of all of this is that the distinct between the project and the company is well managed, in my opinion. So maybe it could be more explicit by renaming the project. And the question has been asked already. So maybe by uh, cre create a name without the wiki part, because we, we do so much more than a wiki that maybe we should use another name. So no, this is uh, the new product that my company is doing. And you might say, okay, it's a counter example of what you are saying. And I would say no. Uh, XWiki SS is creating a new product which is called uh, XWiki Collaborative Suit. And uh, it's a distribution of XWiki packaged with a collection of extensions. And some of them are extensions specific to our company. For example, we have an extension for a support team which you have to pay. So of course, this kind of extensions, the community don't want to have, it, to have them in XWiki by default. For example, we have some links to go to our website uh, where we sell some services, so it's, uh, it's like uh, advertising, and the community don't want to have it by default in XWiki. So we do another project, a side project, with this company, uh, with this uh, product, sorry, um, customized for what we want. Here, a screenshot of XCS. Uh, XCS is still not an open core strategy. All the extensions are free, and all the source code is available on open source. The only difference between XCS and the main XWiki.org project is that this project is not led by the community, but by the company, of course, because it's only for our needs. It's for um, being more integrated with our own infrastructure, etc., etc. So we can see that XCS is definitely not a danger for the xwiki.org project. Actually, it's an, it's an opportunity because it could, it's a good way to test our instantability. Since we try to make the project modular enough so that a lot of different distribution could exist depending on the user needs, it's good that we have XCS to test if it is efficient or not. So it's an opportunity, not a problem. So now, is it healthy? Does it work? For me, xwiki.org is healthy. Why? Because the mailing lists are active. We do frequent releases. We have a lot of downloads. And we're a serious product in the competition according to our users. So I would say that the xwiki democracy works. And when I first joined xwiki some years ago, I was very skeptical about this. I was thinking that we need uh, a Steve Jobs guy, very brilliant, with very good ideas, so we'll have, we will be successful thanks to him. But I, I'm forced to admit that the XWiki model works, so that the democracy works. It works for countries, maybe. It works for our products, and maybe it's going to work for your organizations too. Thank you.